Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to create and format complex shapes and diagrams on a Windows MS Word. Word offers many shapes including circles, squares, arrows, banners, and speech bubbles. In addition, we will look at how to change the shape, color, outline, and effects such as shadows and reflections. Then we will look at how to place shapes behind text and other objects. Sometimes, Shapes placed behind text or other objects can be difficult to reselect. So we will also look at how to select them regardless of their location. To begin inserting a shape, select the Insert tab. Then select Shapes in the Illustrations group. To insert a shape into your document, first, locate the Shapes menu in your Document Editor. This menu typically contains a variety of shapes such as rectangles, circles, arrows, and more. Click on the Shapes menu to open it. Next, browse through the available shapes in the menu. Each shape is represented by an icon or a name. Click on the shape that you want to use. Once you have selected the shape, your cursor will change to a special pointer icon, often two cross lines indicating that you are in shape drawing mode. Click and hold the pointer as you drag the shape onto the page. Use the resizing handles, which are small squares located around the edges of the shape. To adjust the size as necessary, release the mouse button to place the shape on the page. Now we are going to change the shape's color, outline, and add effects. To begin, click the shape to select it. Next, select the Format tab if you are not already there. This tab only appears when a shape is selected. From there, select the Shape Fill menu arrow, and then select a color from the drop-down menu. If you prefer more color options, you can select more field colors to open the colors dialog box. This dialog box provides advanced color options, including text boxes where you can enter RGB, HSL, and hex codes to select a precise color. However, for today's demonstration, we will choose one of the basic colors. After selecting your field color, you can customize the outline of the shape. To change the outline color, select the shape outline menu arrow, typically located near the shape field menu. Click on the arrow to expand the menu, and then select a color from the drop-down menu. If you want additional outline color options, you can select more outline colors to open the colors dialog box, similar to the more field colors option. In addition to changing the color, you can also adjust the thickness of the shape's outline. To do this, select weight from the shape outline menu. A sub-menu will appear with various outline thickness options. Click on the desired thickness to apply it to the shape's outline. If you want to enhance the appearance of your shape border, you can select Shape Effects to add additional effects such as shadows, reflections, and beveled edges. Click on the Shape Effects menu, often located near the Shape Fill and Shape Outline menus, to view the available effects. Select the effect you want to apply to the shape, and it will be immediately applied. It is important to note that some effects may alter the appearance of your shape, including its color and outline. Therefore, you may need to experiment with different effects and settings to achieve the desired results. By default, shapes are positioned in front of the text, which means they appear on top of any text in your document. You can easily move a shape anywhere in the document by clicking and dragging it to a new location. This allows you to position shapes precisely where you want them to appear in relation to other elements in your document. You can place shapes behind text and other objects. We should click the shape to select it. Next, select the Format tab if it is not already selected, followed by the Send Backward menu arrow. From there, you can select Send Backward to send the shape back one level, or select Send to Back to place the shape behind all other objects. Send Behind Text places the shape behind the body text. I am going to click this. If you cannot select a shape placed behind the text or other objects, select the Layout tab in the ribbon. Then, select Selection Pane. When the Selection Pane opens on the right side of your screen, select the shape. It should be selected in the text and the Format tab should appear in the ribbon. If the shape isn't listed in the Selection Pane, click your pointer on the page near the shape. The shape should then appear in the pane. And as always, Remember to save your file to save your changes. Now that we have covered the shapes, effects, outlines, and positioning, let us move on to another interesting hack that can make your life easier and save you time.
This hack or tutorial will introduce you to a new feature or technique that can improve your productivity or streamline a common task. Imagine your teacher or boss informs you that you have just 30 minutes to prepare a diagram for their upcoming presentation. While this might seem like a tight deadline, especially considering the time required to create shapes, fill them with designs, and outline them. There is good news. Microsoft Word offers built-in options that can significantly speed up this process. With Microsoft Word, you can leverage its pre-designed shapes and formatting options to quickly create professional-looking diagrams. This software provides a wide range of shapes, styles, and effects that you can easily apply to your diagram. This means you can focus more on the content of the presentation itself rather than spending valuable time on the design elements. By utilizing these built-in options, you can efficiently create a visually appealing diagram within the given time frame, ensuring that your teacher or boss receives a high-quality visual aid for their presentation. To access a variety of diagrams quickly, navigate to the Insert tab in Microsoft Word. Within the Illustrations group, locate and click on Smart Art. This opens a gallery of pre-designed diagrams that you can choose from to suit your needs. If you are unsure about the type of diagram you need, or if you are looking for more options, you can click on the All category to see all available diagrams. From there, you can scroll through the gallery to find the diagram that best fits your needs. Once you have found the diagram you want to use, click on it to select it and then click OK to insert it into your document. We can edit our text here. For example, I am going to type letters A, B, C, and so on. This process is automatic and will save me time. And that's it. This is how you create and format complex shapes and diagrams in Windows MS Word. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, Please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in our next video.